Hello uploaders, today I'll be teaching you how to program the camera in Project Spark. First of all we have to go into the program screen which is in the brain. As you can see here, I've got not global and intro started and make sure obviously it's first person camera and without controls because you don't want to move the camera when the cutscenes go in. Also make sure you have the not global and intro start again and disable the brain of the player because you don't want the player to move when you're like doing it and make sure it's once flying speed equals to six you don't want it to go too fast but also make sure it's a reasonable speed for you to go for it to go at but as it goes here you got move on on the path and the path is where the ball will go and, we, and it'll be flying now for the text it's not global and intro started and it's got to have a duration time as it says on mine you have to have 180. Well, I well you don't have to, but I chose, and it's in frames and 15. I don't know what the 15 does, but yeah. And display the text, a reasonable sized font for the text, and make sure you choose the right place for the text to be. Next line, it's got not global and intro started, and duration time of a thousand. So once it goes in a thousand frames, the text will just stop. Completely. And the 15. I still don't know what the 15 does, but obviously it seems right to, to, uh, to keep it there. And then the play sound, it's play sound. And once the path is complete, make sure you put it so that it'll enable the player's brain, because you want them to move around after. Right, so now we'll go off here and we'll go and test my cutscene. As you can see, it is going all along the path fine and the text has disappeared. Sound is still going on because it hasn't reached its 1000 frames yet. Now once it reaches that giant boulder in the middle, a couple of seconds after that it should stop the music. As you can tell, it's sad for you now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.